Self-forgiveness has been a part of my life almost as far back as I can remember. My dad started practicing it when, he, when, when I was a child and then he taught it to me. So I still use it every day. It's a part of my life. It's a part of who I am. And the reason that I've been doing it for so long is because it works. It has real results. And my experience with it is that the results are there because, firstly, the process of self-forgiveness requires a, a, a self-reflection. It requires that we look into ourselves and see, okay, why am I experiencing this? Where did it come from? What am I holding on to? What is driving this experience? Why am I reacting in this way? And once we understand ourselves, we can say, okay, all right, now I see what activates this. What is, what's the stuff that triggers this? Now I can kind of prepare myself better for how to deal with this differently in the future when it comes up. But very importantly, also within that, when, when I reflect on points, when I, when I look into myself to see why did I do that? Why am I feeling this? As I gain an understanding of it, it's like I automatically, through that understanding, also forgive myself. Because when you understand how something works, you stop judging it. You stop making it this big conflicting issue. Because now you see how it came to be. And you see the solution. So within self-forgiveness, it is not self-forgiveness if there is not self-correction. If there is not that real, practical, physical change. And when I say physical, I mean changing our behavior, changing our thought patterns. Because that is actually, on the level, a very physical um, action. Uh, changing how we speak and what we say. When, <laughs> it's like I have these moments in my life where I realize exactly how much my emotional baggage influences who I am and, and how I develop relationships, how I deal with situations, how I deal with challenges. And once I walk this process of effectively preparing myself to deal with situations where I know, okay, I tend to get angry in that kind of situation. And this, this is why, this is how I'm going to start changing it. Instead of getting angry, I'm going to remind myself to do something else. Obviously, yeah, I'm specific, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go into specifics. Um... So, yes, the correction or that um, the, the real change is in a way part of self-forgiveness and in another way it's also something else because it's like, okay, I forgive myself for this particular point, I understand how it works, I see how it works, I see how I can, how I can prepare myself to deal with it differently. But then in the moments when the point activates again, there's going to be different ways that we face with points. Some points, when they trigger within us, it does tend to be very emotional, especially in the beginning when you start dealing with something. So in those moments, it's like, okay, yes, I need to forgive myself here. Let me let it go. I know what this point is. I understand how it works. And remind myself that this is how I actually want to deal with it. So let me practice dealing with it in this way. Let me practice embodying a different behavior, a different approach, a different starting point. But also there are going to be those moments where the self-forgiveness takes like a back seat and the focus is on practicing the change that um, that I've prepared myself for, the 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 plan of action that I need to test out to see, okay, is this a better way to deal with that kind of situation? Um, and I have had to be quite flexible because sometimes when I think to myself, okay, 
instead of getting angry, I'll just do this and this and this. And then when the moment comes and I try doing that thing that I said to myself I'll do, it ends up like, okay, this is not actually practical. This doesn't work. I need to do something different. And then you got to let go of that and do something different. Um, the final point that I want to make is that a lot of people tend to confuse self-forgiveness with forgetting. Self-forgiveness is not about forgetting the past. It's not about letting go of the past. It's about letting go of the emotional baggage that we attach to the past. It's about letting go of all the emotional shit, the thought patterns, the behavioral patterns, all of these things that we do without realizing that we're doing it a lot of the time that has a big influence on who we are and how we build our lives and our relationships. So, no, self-forgiveness does not mean that we forget the past. It just means that we allow ourselves to learn from the past more effectively and give ourselves the gift of truly not so much starting over, but being able to move forward with a clean slate and do our best without holding ourselves back and holding ourselves hostage to the past. Okay. So if you have any questions, if you would like to be part of this discussion, let me know. You can leave a comment or send a direct message. If you want to support me, you can do that on Patreon. If you want to support Destiny, there's a number of platforms, including the Equaf website, which is all about understanding how the mind works, the history of the mind, our emotions, our bodies, all of that kind of stuff. Or the Destiny Eye Process, which is a practical course that teaches you tools to deal with um, recurring mind patterns, recurring thought patterns, recurring behavioral patterns, and, uh, and actually implementing corrective changes. So, thank you very much for watching. You will see me next time.